You've probably heard it before. EVs don't have a spare tire because there's no room to fit a spare tire on board, and they're heavy, of course. But Audi has a unique solution with the Q8 e-tron. This is one of only three SUVs available in North America that are full electric and have a spare tire. The other ones being the Hummer and the Rivian R1S, but this is kind of a different EV SUV. And Audi, for this problem, has come up with actually a classic solution. This is a collapsible spare tire. You've probably seen this on Volkswagen, Audi, and Porsche products for a while. Let's talk about how it works. I'm gonna inflate it for you so you can see what happens, how it collapses, and why it is an excellent solution for modern electric cars that I hope other manufacturers get on board with. Collapsible spare tires are all about space saving. Just check out the difference between this full-size tire on this Q8 and this collapsible spare in front of it. This occupies about 2,700 cubic inches for those that like cubic inches. This bigger tire, the full-size one on this Q8, 7,200 cubic inches. That is a significant space savings when we're talking about precious cargo room in a vehicle. But how much does it weigh? Fortunately, I have my trusty digital scale here. Let's give it a whirl. This is right around 49 pounds total. Rather unfortunately, Audi put wheel locks on this Q8, but I do have a Pilot Sport all season in a 235 45R19, and I have a 20 inch wheel from something completely different. This combo weighs about 64 pounds, and it's pretty representative of the kind of weight you'd expect out of an alloy wheel that is capable of supporting a 265 width tire. Back in the cargo area, you can immediately see the benefit. This spare tire is much smaller, physically giving you a lot more room for your cargo. Now, oddly enough, Audi does not put the spare tire upside down like this, where you could use all that extra space inside the spare. I think that is one little tidbit missing here. Now let's get to the inflation. I'm not gonna be using the pump that came with the Audi because it is a little on the slow side. If I take the cap off the valve stem, you'll notice there's something unusual about it. The top is shaped like a small cylinder and it actually has a little bit of a slit in it so you can use it sort of like a pair of pliers or a screwdriver to actually remove the valve from the stem itself. That's how you collapse the spare tire to put it back in your vehicle. This is not a one-way trip. You can expand it, then you can collapse it back, toss it back in your trunk for later. All right, let's get filling. You'll notice that pretty much immediately the tread section starts to pop out and then this actually unfolds from inside. There you go. It's done its uh, first stage there. The next side will then flop out. So if I put this to the side, pause it for just one moment, you'll notice this side has not fully expanded yet. But if I keep on filling it, then you'll see that other side start to really pop out, emerge there. And there we go. Now we have almost a full spare tire. You'll notice still not quite right from this angle, not quite symmetrical. Uh, we're now at around 30 PSI or so. You see that this is still growing and expanding. And there we go. We are now at the proper PSI for this particular tire. As with most temporary spare tires, this has a maximum speed limit of 50 miles an hour. It's right there on the spare tire because it's not made of the same materials that a regular tire is. You'll notice the tread is also very, very different. Although this is a better tread than was on the last expandable and collapsible spare tire I played with. The tread is sort of like a cross trainer tread, like a tennis shoe tread and it doesn't have as much snow or wet weather traction as a regular tire would. Something I really noticed the one time I did need to use an expandable spare tire on a Volkswagen Tiguan, it just didn't perform quite right in the winter in the rain. But it's definitely better than not having a spare tire at all. Now let's reverse the process and collapse it back. This can be done two ways. You could use a tire filler right like this, reconnect it there and just let the air bleed out, or you can use that cap I showed you earlier. We simply insert it in there, rotate it around, you'll kind of feel it. And then you can actually hear the air start escaping slowly. You can either completely remove it if you want the process to uh, happen a little faster, or you could just back it off a little bit. There we go. Air is now hissing out of that spare tire. You'll really see it start collapsing here in a second. The air is really releasing quickly. You can see it starting to collapse back in on itself. It will also make some funny popping noises. See, it's really going there. And now it's gonna settle back down there towards the middle. 
and now it's done. For those that are curious, this is what the valve inside the valve stem actually looks like. That's the little screwdriver there for removing it, and it goes into that little notched area right there so you can screw and unscrew it. Let's just go ahead and pop that back in the tire, and then it's good to go. Then we simply drop it back in the trunk, and as the British say, Bob's your uncle. Although the spare tire is in the back, the tire iron and jack, they're up here in the small front trunk. Underneath this little pizza box style lid, we find a little bit more storage space than we find in some EVs. Uh, under this little partition, we then find the tire inflator kit, the jack, the tire iron, etc. The one thing that does surprise me is that Audi did not put the spare tire up front. I think that would have been a really logical use of the space. Unfortunately, at this point in time, it doesn't look like any other EV manufacturers are really investigating collapsible and expandable spares for their EVs. But I really wish more companies would look into it because this seems like a perfect solution. It'd be easy to put in the underhood area of your EV. Not so easy, of course, if there's a gasoline or diesel engine there, and then it would free up all that storage space in the back for your cargo. As always, be sure and hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of our latest videos, including a full review of this Q8 e-tron coming up soon. See all of you later.